This year, I'm participating in Extra Life to raise money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Why? Because they saved my daughter's life two times. The first time was just within a few days of her being born. Um, they found out that she had um, something wrong with her intestines and they did a life-saving surgery. The second time was when she was two years old. And again, um, intestinal issue that they found and uh, with a quick and easy surgery, uh, they were able to uh, fix her up and save her life once again. Um, she had the, the same problem that she had actually was uh, what killed one of the Bee Gees. Um, so it's one of those things that if, if left undiagnosed, um, it just presents as so many other things. And so, you know, it was great that the doctors were able to figure out what it was and give her the surgery that she needed. So any amount that you can give will help because any amount will help Johns Hopkins be able to have um, better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page. But um, just anything you give uh, would be really helpful. And also, um, they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. So I'm having some uh, dropped frame issues. I'm going to assume that's um, because of the bandwidth and not because of anything CPU bound. I haven't done anything crazy on this computer. I just booted it up a little while ago. <coughs> so um, luckily this is one of those times where it'll be a really good thing that I'm making a local recording, um, which is you know what I'm uploading to YouTube. Um, as I said yesterday, I'm not 100% sure right now um, <coughs> what um, uh, what I'm going to end up doing if I'm going to end up getting rid of the YouTube um, the YouTube live streams um, as time goes by, or if I'm going to leave them, um, or if I'm going to leave them up as it's just an archive of what it looks like uh, live streamed versus what it looks like um, um, locally recorded I'm not sure uh, at this point it looks like I've dropped about one-fifth of the frames but a lot of that was in the beginning when it was just a solid background so that shouldn't matter and um, it always drops frames whenever um, whenever it starts loading so that's not a big deal either so, just waiting for it to load. Um, not sure. This game, this particular game, seems to take a while to load. Here we go. <coughs> so, back in this beautiful place, we'll see how the puzzles evolve. So, we've gone, you know, we've added a, uh, well, we started with a chime puzzle, and then we evolved from the chime puzzle to go to um, the uh, back and forth puzzles. And so, let's see what happens as we go now. page again. There's definitely going to be a lot of very interesting back and forth with this one. Turn it again. I wonder, was I supposed to not go all the way up to the top rather than go here? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Again. Huh. I guess I get to choose at this point whether I go here or there. This would be going backwards, which where I would be there, so I guess I'm meant to be here. At least then I can jump back without having to go all the way back. Now I go back this way. Oh, now I'm over here. Very cool. 
So I'm not 100% sure how some of these page turning things go, other than the fact that um, it's supposed to go back and forth a bit and end up at the right answer. So somehow I'm supposed to get all the way up there. Let's see what happens here. Oh, very nice. I can go back here into the book, as it were. Let's move over a little more. Move this over. Very nice. Very cool. Not so much of a puzzle as just a very neat looking uh, mechanic. <coughs> There's definitely something very peaceful about this game and um, one of these puzzles and the way that it flows. So what's interesting here... Oh, I see. It's here that I meet, meet my match. Because I was about to say... You know, I wonder. Let me step back here for a second. Okay, so I definitely need to go here first. So I need to get here. Well, maybe. Perhaps I don't. Perhaps I'm jumping the gun a bit on this. Hmm. So if I go back to here... Ah, there we go. Don't know how I didn't see that one before. Okay. Very nice. So it's too high, too high. Okay, so I need to. Uh, well, no, I must. It must be something I need to do here. Let's see. So I go back up one. Go back up one. Okay. No, not quite. Huh. If I come back over here. Oh, I know. This is going to be a lot of back and forth. So now I need to go here, most likely. And then... Shall it be here or here? No. I feel kind of like I'm at the die doctor. One or two. One or two. I feel like I... I feel like I was here already. I feel like this is where I got stuck before. I guess not. <laughs> Interesting. It's almost like a magician's trick. I'm going to have to rewatch my recording later to see exactly what I did. <laughs> There's definitely a bit of wonder about this game, which is a lot of fun. <coughs> my little samurai guy walks over to the jump point. Okay, now we're on the other side of the cave. There's a pier. And so it looks like I can't go too far this way. Let's go to the pier there. This may be where we get to the next mechanic. Let's see. Ooh, there's some stuff floating out here. Perhaps we're going to start getting a bit of story. Let's see. an order to what I'm doing. Let's see, perhaps these things need to fit. There we go. Okay, last one. Huh. 
Ooh, now we have a boat. Look on the water to sail. Oh, cool, I get to be on the water for once. Well, at least water that's not frozen. And off I sail. <laughs> very cool. This is very neat. Creepy music, though. She was a little more zoomed in on my guy. Ooh, a lighthouse. I assume if the Japanese had uh, <coughs> seafaring vessels, they must have had lighthouses of some sort, but I don't actually know. Yes, the centerpiece does indeed seem to be missing. Alright, my guess is going to be I need to take the boat in the other direction. And that will get us the centerpiece. Because <laughs> I can only turn in the direction in which I came from. Oh, let me see, can I turn back when I'm here? Or only forward? Only forward. Okay. So let me see if I need to sail to the west. <coughs> I can also try sailing further east while I'm here already. Let's try that first. <coughs> to having done that, but okay. <laughs> A pirate ship like thing. Oh, a ship that crashed against the rocks, I guess. ship's wheel, but I don't know. Oh, there's something here. Radio of some sort or something. Ooh. Okay. So if the middle can't turn, then that goes like that. This goes like that, and this goes like that. Okay, this opens. <laughs> this I'm not anywhere near. No idea what I should be doing with this here, because uh, I don't know Japanese. I wonder if there's a hint somewhere that would have told me what I need to put. There's a lot of possible 
combinations. Uh, so it'd be hard to try them all. <laughs> what if I tried everything that had an outline like this? And then maybe this one here, and this one here? No. Uh, this one I don't see any pattern to. This one I can see a top, a top. Uh, this one I don't see a top. I'm looking at here where these things go like this, right? Uh, maybe here, like that. Hmm. I am clearly supposed to figure this out in order to open it up. Because if I go here, nothing's happened. Alright. So, I'm a bit stumped on this one. <coughs> Let's see. This one kind of seems to be like that. Uh, if they're supposed to be rotating, maybe this one, then this one, and then uh, not really sure I see anything that would be the match. Alright, so there has to be some kind of clue here that people can figure out without just going at random. But I'm not sure. Maybe all these window open ones. Let's see. mountains. I'm trying to see if something looks like maybe like a lighthouse or something that would be obvious. Hmm. Maybe which one is the brightest lit one in each? See, nothing really seems brightly lit on this one. I could look it up. I'd hate to not be able to do this on my own, but... Alright, let me see if there's some kind of a clue somewhere. How did I get out of here before? Oh, here we go. This boat. Okay, so it has that pattern on it. Let's see on the other. So it's kind of like a... Almost like a... Chair. I bet this is scattered throughout the level. That might be my... Those might be my clues. <laughs> yep. There we go. So I'm gonna look for another one, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make note of these. First of all, can I go any further east? Okay, I can. Kind of, but not really. All right, so let's go back the other way. Sorry about all the flickering. I keep clicking off my screen and flickering this thing. No symbols on there that I can tell. 
with that or at least four symbols. I won't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with the ones that I found on the, the boat itself. But I'll be ready to take note when I see some more symbols. Hopefully I didn't have been keeping track of the entire level, because I don't want to have to go back through everything. But if that's the case, so be it. Let's see. Just for the sake of checking, let me see if there are any symbols up here. music when I went too far in. No symbols here. Okay, further west it is. If not, I'll try those two symbols, like, back to back or something like that. Like, uh, line, 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 chair, line, 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 chair. See if that works. I'm gonna try <coughs> first just using the two symbols we were given and see what happens there. I get to listen to this cool music while we sail. to have to go all the way back and out of this section, but that's okay. There's another one. Interesting. I, did you 
see that there was one right oh that was turning perhaps there's one here as well so there's one 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 okay there's that one okay Just as I suspected. See, it's more trolling if there's only three. <coughs> so it doesn't let me know what to do for the last one. Other than just try, 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 try. So the third one is like a pie almost. And that leaves me with one one unknown. it's here. Ah, there it is. It's box like that. Okay, cool. Hopefully this is the order they're supposed to go in. So, first of all, it's three. Then it's the sitting. Then it's the pie. And then it's Pretty awesome. My gear. I found a cog. Good for me. I do believe that's the cog I need for the lighthouse. Very cool. Very cool. Sharp eyes there when I turned it. Too bad I didn't notice it the first time. That would have saved me a lot of sailing back and forth and back and forth, but that's life. <laughs> okay. And back over here. And back to the lighthouse. With the cool sailing music, which I love. Almost makes me want to buy the soundtrack to this game. Assuming there is one. Oh, 
I assume perhaps I'm going to have to light this and then lower it back in. So that is stuck out. So perhaps I have to go to the one that has fire now, or maybe connect, do some connecting of land. Let's see. have to go all the way to the left. <coughs> Back to where this cave level started. There's 
definitely some real depth to this uh, this game, which is really neat in the sense of 3D, 3DS, 3D depth. See if I'm supposed to lower it back into here. Well, apparently not, but that's okay. It's lit, and that's the important thing. Doesn't look lit, but <coughs> if I go back this way. This thing should be either all lit and ready for me to do something, or we'll see. It's not too far to sail over there. Clearly, even if I had figured out the fire first, I still would have needed the cog to raise the fire in the lighthouse. Ah, perfect. So now I can go over here. I guess we'll find out. Oh, and the world, and so on and so forth. Ooh, creepy. Alright. Let's see what happens in here. again. Uh, tiki 
territory, I want to say. Maybe. Maybe I was. I don't know. I should have asked Dan today while I was at work. <laughs> Ooh, trippy. Oh, nothing to do there. Let's come ashore. Hopefully I'm close to getting the flower petal for this level. <laughs> this puzzle took me a little bit longer to solve than I would have preferred. this symbol, which looks like that symbol, but I don't see any Japanese characters anywhere.
So I see all the pieces, but... What does that tell me? Because I don't see any Japanese characters anywhere. Oh, wait. Come back here. These puzzles are usually building up on each other, so but the same trick did not work. So it's going to be something slightly more involved. What's over here? Now I don't expect it to have taken me the entire level, because no one's going to be keeping track of that through the entire level. Not to mention that would take a long time to go back through. Uh, assuming I could even go back through everything. But I wonder... Did they have anything listed... In the... Cave that I was in. But it looks like there's something over here that I can do. Ah. Is that the cave I was just in? Could be. Could be. Or it's a different cave, perhaps. I'll keep an eye out for any patterns with letters. Hmm. Perhaps this is exactly what I need. out very soon. Whoa. This is... I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. I guess I have to find the one that matches. Alright. So these match. These match. But the yellows don't. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, there you go, everything matches now. Oh no, this one doesn't. Darn it. Come on, yellow, what's going on here? Frustrating because I was able to get these to match and these to match. It doesn't look like this matches anywhere. Hmm. Maybe there's another place where I'm supposed to understand what this means. so far I figured out the fire and everything should I should I cheat and look on a FAQ or walk through assuming there even is one something I'm supposed to be doing here, but what it is, I can't quite figure out. Perhaps if I go back to the dogs in the other part of this level. These dogs are just facing each other. They're red. Okay. So it tells me nothing about what I'm supposed to be doing. Other than the red dogs are facing each other.
Walkie walk, 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 walk. Wish I could make him run. Alright. Back over here. has to be one where everyone's standing. I don't think that's the case anywhere. Alright, so maybe maybe all dogs of any color should be facing each other? Let's see. Those are all facing the wrong way. At least some of those are facing the right way. Those are facing the wrong way. Those are facing the right way. All dogs need to be facing another dog. That'd be interesting. What if that was the case? You know what? Maybe all dogs need to be bowing to other dogs. No, because it's not an option. Every dog should at least be facing another dog. Hmm, almost got it. Let's see, can I make it so that every dog is at least facing one other dog? No, because red always has at least one dog facing away. So what if this red had the bottom dog? Nope. I can't see where I'm going to come up with this one. feeling it has to do with them bowing at each other, based on what I saw in that shrine. These guys are all facing each other. These guys. I have a feeling I'm on the right track, but let's see, do I stop? Do I look it up? Do I look it up? Do I stop? 
can't see what tomorrow is going to bring to this situation. How would tomorrow let me have a better idea of what to do with these dogs? No, man, I'm drawing a blank. I'm going to go for the walkthrough. I mean, there is one. This one just seems to be beyond what I can figure out. <coughs> okay, nothing on game facts. I I may be might be on my own. This one. Let's see. Well, it was something a lot of people type into Google. Let's see here. Lots and lots of images I'm waiting for. Did that one. Okay, did that one. So, there was a pattern there that I missed. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna go look for that. A mirror images with the fox on the left and the right side. A mirror image! Ah, oh, was so close. So close. Alright. Let's see. So close. Oh, because I'm trying to get a mirror. If I would have done the right thing, then I would have known. Because it would have said, you're looking for a mirror. Okay. I get it. I get it. For some reason, it didn't trigger this whole, like, you're looking for a mirror thing. Which is a bit frustrating, but uh, it happens. What's going on here? There you go. for me. Back to the... <coughs> Alright, this time. So I was right about the puzzle, but I couldn't see it. And I'm not going to use the walkthrough. I'm just going to see if I can find it. And then I do need to go finish for today. And I guess tomorrow I'll do the last puzzle. Which may take me an hour or so. Because this one, as they 
keep combining puzzles, it's getting more and more difficult. At least I know why I couldn't get it. I was missing the fact that it was, they were supposed to tell me to look for a mirror. That was supposed to be my clue. I might still have missed the clue. I'm not going to give myself too much credit, but I might have done better had I known. Okay, so let's get up there. Where's the pattern? Now I'm frustrated. What's going on here? enough. I like that. <laughs> Alright. Let's go over here. These guys are pretty hard, man. Hardcore. So this one I had in the right spot already. sword. He's gonna have a sword and a mirror. Alright, so this is the first puzzle I can't do completely on my own, but... Definitely some stuff missing. I guess I was supposed to click on this dude before to know. Instead, I just went straight away to wind him away, which is what made me lose my clues. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to read my haiku. And I got my third achievement. Okay, so. Um, basically. Oh, Alright, let's add the last flower. latest flower. Ooh, the 
whole tree has blossomed, even though there's one more level left. Sakura. A cherry blossom falls. Death's embrace. A new beginning. Huh. Hey, I finished it. Okay. So, I guess I did finish it. Um. Music for sure. I've been commenting on it the whole time. Great job on the special effects, Rico and Christian Molman. Good animation. Looks like it came out in a lot of languages. Very cool. Engine. That's pretty cool. Yum yum, which is the website I was on, I guess. <laughs> Just waiting to see if anything else pops up. Apparently not. So I finished Tengami. Um, yeah, so um, I don't know what you think. I think I did pretty well. Um, I uh, was able to solve all but the last puzzle. Not bad. Um, last two puzzles, um, I still say the dog thing is kind of, um, I didn't get the mirror clue, but okay. Um, I think it was very beautiful. The music soundtrack was great. Um, I think the game was uh, definitely um, showcasing how video games can be art, um, you know, even with very little story. It was almost a ballet in a way, in terms of um, how they told the story without any narrative whatsoever, other than the haikus. I'm going to have to pause later and see the haiku that I missed by clicking a little too quickly. Um, so yeah, it was a good game. Don't know what I'm going to play next. Um, right now, on Steam, I have uh, Torchlight as uh, one of the games that that I had in my next play. But um, recently, talking to uh, Dan about some other stuff, um, uh, Ma uh, Massive Chalice, I started wondering if maybe um, I would play some XCOM next. I'm not sure. Um, I'd probably be able to finish it more quickly, at least one game that I'd be able to finish. Uh, um, Torchlight, I imagine Torchlight's probably at least a few hours. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, so uh, if you enjoy um, my game streams, um, please subscribe on YouTube or on Twitch. Um, right now, I'm streaming, live streaming to both, and i would probably continue doing that in the future. Um, I will be putting up a uh, high-quality version um, to YouTube after this. Um, I'm playing for Extra Life, as you can see with my banner here. Um, any any amount you can donate, even a dollar, would be great. 
Uh, if you donate at least six, there's a Rainbow Six beta you can get into. Um, but um, Johns Hopkins, as if you saw the opening video, they they saved my daughter's life twice, and so um, I'd like to raise money for them and help them out any way I can. So, at any rate, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.